out for breakfast tomorrow, right? Yeah, we've got a period of heavy wet snow on the way and there could be some slushy accumulation to the north and west if the snow comes down hard enough. So it's something that we're tracking for the second day. Six live in HD looking at Philadelphia International on this uh, Sunday night. It's dry right now on the runways, but by tomorrow morning it might be a little wet across portions of the Delaware and Lehigh Valleys as we are tracking that precipitation. So lots of clouds on the way for the rest of tonight. Periods of snow Monday morning, which is why that wind Winter weather advisory has been issued and it stays unsettled this week. Tuesday and Wednesday we are tracking rain, but numbers right now still very mild. Our high in Philadelphia 62, 51 in Philadelphia, 40 in Allentown, 42 in Reading, down in Cape May, 49 degrees in the middle 50s there in Dover. Here's a big picture of what we're tracking tomorrow. Satellite 6 along with Action Radar. You can see that we're dry still, mostly cloudy sky as we go throughout the overnight hours. Just a narrow band of precipitation that we're tracking here. So snow across portions of the Ohio Valley, a little bit of mixed precipitation and rain just to the south of Cincinnati. So this will work its way eastward as early as tomorrow. So lots of clouds for the next 12 hours. Snow arriving during the pre-dawn hours and temperatures will be falling off. 31 in the suburbs with that northerly wind and 35 degrees in Philadelphia. So we'll time it out for you. Future Tracker 6 showing you 3 o'clock in the morning. We've got that snow at the onset for our western suburbs. Even some mixed precipitation pressing into Lancaster by six o'clock in the morning. This is the problem. It will be fairly light in nature, given the fact that we are in the month of April, but the problem will be it's coming in just in time for that ride into work. So we've got snow along the I-95 metro area points to the north and west. Mixed precipitation down across interior sections of South Jersey and rain south of Atlantic City and also into Dover. The back edge of that snow already starting to press out into portions of our western suburbs and by noon tomorrow it's already exiting stage E We've got a mostly cloudy sky and even some melting taking place by tomorrow afternoon. So as far as the snowfall and what we are expecting right along the I-95 metro area, one to two inches of snow, about a coating to an inch for interior South Jersey, southern Burlington, southern Ocean, southern Camden and Gloucester counties and points to the south. But two to five inches of snow uh, just to the north and west of Philadelphia. And most of the accumulation will be on grassy surfaces or non-paved surfaces, something to keep Keep in mind, though, that there could be a heavier band that sets up north and west of Philadelphia, and you could find up to an inch of snowfall an hour, which could quickly reduce the visibility. So slushy roads are likely in some of those secondary spots. But again, we're in the month of April. We've got a higher sun angle this time of year, so some quick melting taking place by tomorrow afternoon. Here's the exclusive AccuWeather 7 forecast. Morning snow, then rain, a high temperature of 48. Rising temperatures as we get into Tuesday with that rain around early, a high of 56. Then on Wednesday, it's a windy day with afternoon rain and it's 66. That cold front moves out. It's cooler and we're drier for the Phillies home opener. 48, 54 on Friday, then the 40s return. It's cool as we get into next weekend, guys. We'll be tracking the snow throughout the night. Okay, thanks, right. Melissa. Thank